Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? Today's the day. For what you ask? Well, you'll just have to stick around and find out. All right, guys. Well, no matter how many bins or how much money we put into Jitville, never seems like enough or never is enough which not complaining that either means our yields are improving or we're growing but either way we have several bins we're going to pull out of retirement this year so dustin and kyle have spent the past couple hours cleaning out some bins that haven't been cleaned out in several years. While I have been going around checking electronics. So that bin is good. This bin, I got issues. I got no power. So I'm gonna run through some quick tests here. See if I can figure out what the issue is. Ah! First step is going to be to figure out if I even have power. And I got nothing. So I'm un undoing one wire one circuit to hook on another circuit to make sure because right now I unhooked the unload auger which I don't care about now in order to hook on the fan plug because we'll run the fan now and then we'll swap this breaker over to run the unload later in the year Okay. Hey, we got power now. So, let's see if that fixed our issue. Let's get this plug back in. Well, now as long as that old breaker holds, that was a simple fix. Well, I don't know why, but for some reason, Kyle and Dustin have refused to get in this bin. May have something to do with those guys right there. But, no fear. Let's see how this goes, Dad. Look at that. <laughs> that sucker just kamikaze to you. Oh, and there's one up top. Get him. You always feel the need to double tap. <laughs> well, isn't that the zombie movie? Zombie rule number one. A rule number one. Double tap. <laughs> Did you get him? Right out of the air. Nice. Going. Should I should I should I at least video covering up the starter switch? <laughs> well, Dad is scared of our red jet, redneck engineering. But hey, the fan works. And nobody got electrocuted, so Ended up wiring this right into our breaker. But hey, it's running. That's all that matters. There's three bins back in commission that haven't been used in several years. No animals! Oh, that's disappointing. There's the one rat. He was alive yeah. about 
45 seconds ago. Well, he's a big, he's a good sized one. Not now. And he's a good sized dead one now. We, uh... But I think we're down to one bin left to check. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that one's going to take a whole new electrical panel. But that's where we're headed next. Well, I lied to you. We're not worrying about that last bin today. We're going to get things back to the shop. See if we can't head out to a bean field and get something cut today. Officially start harvest 2024. Why are you so weird? Because <laughs> he's excited. All right, well, got the 3020 back on the auger since we literally just moved it last week. But hey, that's how this works. So because of where we're gonna be starting, and like I've said, the fact that we're gonna be using all of our small bins that we can, this one's getting filled first, the left one, or the north one. This one's bad. Unfortunately, we don't use that at all anymore. But before I can back the auger onto it, I gotta get some equipment out of the way, or a camper, mainly. All right, I think that gives us enough room. It's hot, first of all. <laughs> A little warm on your hands. <laughs> These are the things you forget to do when it's been over a year since you've set an auger we forgot to unlatch the swing away which actually now that i come over here we're good never mind so she's pretty close right now obviously when we drop this weight off the left side auger tends to swing right a little bit but i think it's close enough once we get that we'll fine tune with the air in the tires it's a little trick of the trade. My pliers are new. They still have the rubber on them. They don't fit in the hole. Oh, man. We'll fix that by the end of harvest. Nope, that's why I have a screwdriver in my pocket. <laughs> All right, let's push this out, set it, see if we can see if this will reach under the truck or we'll see if we need to get that jump auger. Oh, no, that'll be perfect. Got plenty of room. You, you you notice one thing though? I'm gonna have to back in. You're gonna have to back in. Yep. All right, well, we officially have somewhere to go with the beans. Dad's got the combine out. He's running through his checks. We're doing everything we would normally do right on the edge of the field. But this field, the edge of the field's road. So doing what we can do now before we get out there. Last thing I got to get ready, I believe is the auger cart. Got the cameras all set up, but we run our weight through iFarm, which requires an iPad. So I gotta make sure the one that we use is charged. Well, it took a few minutes to find it, but I got it. All right, let's see if it connects. Sinking, perfect. Now we need to see. Hey, there's our weight. Perfect. All right, make sure our doors are shut this time. If you guys have been with us since wheat harvest, you'll know why we're double checking those. Let's go cut some beans. Everybody's not as excited as I am. I'm excited. Let's just get started. That's right. Kyle, I think Kyle just wants to go home. I'm just tired of being hot. I'm over the heat. I don't disagree. Harvest harvest should be the season of sweatshirts in the morning. This feels like it's wheat time right now. Yeah, it's middle of July heat right now. 
But oh well, it'll cool down one of these days. <laughs> Just not soon enough. <laughs> it'll snow is what's gonna happen. Oh, don't don't man. speak that bad juju on us. Oh, I do too, but not during harvest. What do you think? They're dry. Think they're dry enough? Oh no, they're just powder. So P PTO first. Now you've got your three point or your single point. Yep, line your pins up. Nope, other way. Yep. Yep, and then you'll pull this out, push that all the way in. Yep, pull that out and pull your handle back. Well, first look at 2024 beans. Well, everything's running good so far. We've got one little spot over here that seems to be pushing. Well, everything looks good. Go ahead. Yep. May have been may have been where the pass before we had to slow our spreader on the back end down a little bit. We were thrown well into the beans, so it could have been just some residue overlap. All right, well we got our first hopper full. Time to try out these new upgrades that we've got on here. Oh, look at that! Oh, yeah. Still got some fat ones. Oh, cross augers are off and it's cleaning out. Well, right off the bat, I can tell it looks like we've got a pretty darn good spread going from those new paddles. The problem is they're so dry. Yeah. Is that head shelling? Is that... A lot of that? There's a couple right here. Well, that one's on top. That one obviously was not. Seen a few more beans out here than we like, but. For the first pass, we'll get it fine-tuned. Well, that wasn't exactly very graceful, but hey, I got it. Gonna take a sample back to the shop, see what it tests on our portable tester, see if the combine's accurate on moisture. All right, so the only thing we forgot on our upgrade is we never adjusted and retightened that, the camera mount. So the best ladder we had right now was these beans. I'm gonna swap the three eighths and the 13. Perfect. Now dad won't lose his camera. I see that. 
Now I got beans I in my shoes. never backing that up again. <laughs> How'd you do? It's like backwards, but not at the same time. It is. It's four-wheel steer. So, yeah. It's, it's just, the, if, yeah, if, if you've just learned to back a semi, forget everything you learned and do it the opposite. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> well, while we wait for that thing to boot up, check out some of these other hand samples we've taken from some cornfields. Pretty good ears, if you ask me. And then you see the yellow light. Fill it up till it turns green. It's that easy. Boom. 95 degree cold. Yeah, 94.8 degrees. All right, so the combine might be a little on the low side. May adjust it a little bit, but we're close. Either way, these beans are flipping dry. All right, first truck of beans is on its way to the bins. This should be the last calibration load as long as we're somewhat close. So basically we have to stop and dump and we're using the scales on the auger cart in order to check the scales on the combine because the scales on the auger cart have been calibrated and are extremely close. All right, I'm showing 22,220. Let's see where dad was. And I don't have to tell him that because he is paired to the auger cart in the combine. So he's got my weights on his phone. You're showing 22, 220 or something like that. Yes, sir. 23.8. Okay, so we're not quite dialed in yet. Well, I take that back. Maybe have to do a few more calibration loads. All right, next sample. I'm showing... 15340. See if he was any closer. Okay, I was about two, a little over two percent, two to three percent low that time, so maybe one more round and we'll see what happens. Alright. Take number three. Alright, I'm showing 15940. It was like almost four percent low that time. What in the world? Well, this is going to be an ongoing battle, it looks like. What happened? Uh oh! Looks like he just didn't get his bolts tight, so they worked out. I hate harvesting anything. When it's oh, it's, no! When you get into well, harvest are you mode, supposed to be wearing windbreakers. Yep, that's exactly what we were talking about earlier. This time of year, you're supposed to be sweatshirts in the morning <laughs> and about a t-shirt late afternoon. Yeah. But that was a quick fix. Everything else looked good. Yeah. I'm glad you saw that because it wasn't causing me any problems. Uh. -uh. I don't know, I'd have lost it. Yeah, and then we'd have never found it. Well, we finally got the calibration figured out. That was less than, I think, four tenths of a percent off, which is well within acceptable range. But we ended up throwing a chopper blade through the back end. So. I know that's gibberish to most of you, so I'm headed back to the shop and so is dad with the combine since we're so close. I'll show you what I'll show you guys I'll show you guys what we're dealing with once I get there. Alright, so 
this is our chopper as you can see the blades this is what spins at an extremely high speed chops up all the residue and then spits it out spits it out to these fans and then spreads it what happened obviously dual blades are two a piece except for that one this one broke off at some point earlier and one blade missing on that circle was enough to throw the whole thing out of balance so it was vibrating like crazy and won't take long to screw up a bunch of bearings and pulleys and stuff if you run it that way so dad is on his way to rockville we're just going to switch out the entire set because if one broke we're not going to take a chance on any of the others breaking all right well i think that's where we're going to call it a day for this video we got started i mean that's about the only thing you can hope for on the first day of harvest we got started we got acres covered and as dustin said hey two less trucks of beans to harvest so did you guys know that americans collectively eat over a hundred acres of pizza every day what can i say we like our pizza yeah there's nuts that's, that, that's we're, all there we're, is to we're it. like 15 of that hope you guys enjoyed the video find that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't and as always we'll see you in the next one